Hello. Today, I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of sodium hydrogen sulfate. And I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of that particular element, simply just plug in a one because that's what it is assumed to be. So sodium has one atom there in sodium hydrogen sulfate. Hydrogen is one, sulfur is one, and oxygen, therefore, is a four. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. So here, sodium is 22.99, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, sulfur is 32.97, and oxygen is 16. So we're going to write those on in. So 22.99, hydrogen is going to be 1.01, .01, sulfur was 32.07. That's a weird, it's a weird three. And then oxygen is 16. All right. Then we're going to find the total mass of each compound now uh, by simply multiplying the row on a cross. Okay. So for sodium, the total mass of sodium in the compound is going to be 22.99. Hydrogen is going to be 1.01. .01, sulfur is going to be 32.07. And then oxygen here will be 64. All right. Now to find the total mass of the entire compound, then all you got to do is add up all these total masses of each individual element. Okay. And it's simple. It's 120.07. The units here are grams per mole because we're solving for molar mass. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, take a look at some of our other videos if you like. we got thousands of solved solutions out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out for you. All right, we really want to help you succeed. So take a look. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.